We have just won the league again, fly the flag, and um, it is busy. Champions again, olé olé. And what a game, what an absolute cracker of a game. He'll go double, what a bit. Starfield scoring a goal. Not only Starfield, but oh, he had a fantastic game also. Just won the league, just watched it on the telly. Absolutely delighted with the way the season's went. Let's have a word with a couple of the fans after the game. Brilliant, back to my normal full team. It was a really good day. So what, what do you think of the season? Oh, the season's been phenomenal. Phenomenal. You get another treble. You've been going for a world record. Yeah. Eight treble. Unbelievable. That's it. Unbelievable. You've got two players at Celtic that have won as many trebles as <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then we need to mention Hans Poster Mr. I am lucky. Oh, he's really <laughs> lucky. I, I don't know if you know him, but I'm his big brother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, the little nod to Tommy Burns at the end? Ah, oh, fantastic. I the privilege of meeting Tommy Burns. Yes. What a guy. Fantastic guy. Right down there. Just one of us. Just one of the boys. He was that. What can you say about next week? Do you think we'll do it? I think we'll do it. It's, it's a walk in the park. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we're that team. They put it a day. There'll be one change. I've had that for Baida. And I think we'll win it convincingly. Do you think Andrew will still be here next season? I think he'll definitely be here next year. I think so I think well. one more year, definitely. I think he'll be here more than one year. I think he'll definitely win one, one yeah. more year. Bill. And the Champions League will have a good track at the Champions League this yeah. year. And I think you'll see an improved performance next year in the Champions League. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Game today. Brilliant. Great result. What do you think about the season? Uh, great season overall. Again, the last few weeks it's been a wee bit of a struggle, but I think man goes there to the line at the end. The manager's comments after the game is a little nod to Tommy Burns. Aye. Great. Shows his class, isn't it? You know, one of the Are you worried about him leaving this summer? No, no, it's gone David. Not at all. What about yourself? I'd be worried if he left, certainly, but uh, that was a lovely wee touch to have Tommy Burns. That was magnificent. I'm just trying to get the Lisbon Lions bit in here as, as I interview you. What do you think of the game? What do you think of the season? I think the season's been great. I think it was quite right to let the players take their foot off the gas. Yes. And uh, I think we've seen that today. Yeah. And oh, I'm no, sure no, we'll see it in the cup final. Back to normal. Yeah. Back to normal. He's a magnificent manager. Normal, yes. 
and he's very lucky as he says I think that nod at the end of the game yeah. to being a lucky man I just wish they played lucky man by the verve just <laughs> as a wee tribute to him <laughs> that's it right on that note I'm going to have a quick look at this and then we're going to try and get a quick chat with the one and only Mr Matt Amara Senior <laughs> I have to call you Mr because let's face it your son's all over YouTube senior. <laughs> you're, you're senior there was a defender scored today what influence has the defenders that we've got at Celtic what, what do you think of Carter Vickers and how important do you think he is to Celtic I think he's very important but uh, it's fortunate they could do without him today yeah. Uh, yeah. but you could see the last couple of games he was missing but they're, they're, they're doing the right thing and getting his operation sorted out for next season yeah. being a former defender yourself and joining Celtic when it was a very successful period. This team has come off the, the back of a successful period with the nine in a row. You know, this team didn't achieve the nine, the ten in a row, a bit like the team that you're in yourself. How impressed have you been with the way that Ange Postecoglou has turned this team around? Feelings, recognition, it, 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 it just marvel at the Japanese lads yeah. and their, uh, their work ethic. You just wind them up and they'll play to the last minute. Yeah. They're, they're five nothing up and they'll still chase defenders down. And, no, they're just wonderful. What do you think, Ange Foster Coglu? Uh, a lot, actually. It, it just it, it, it throws into the, the shape of when people are saying, "Who's this?" Yeah, Foster Coglu. Yeah, sorry, but typical Scottish media. Yes, it is. But the guy knows what he's doing. He, he's he's a he's a master. A, without a doubt, he knows what he's he, doing. He is a master of the game. Yeah. He's obviously going to get compared now to a certain extent. Yes. Martin. Yeah. Martin. Martin. Martin met him off the bus today. Yeah. When the when the bus drove up to Celtic Park, Martin O'Neill was there. Yeah. How do you obviously worked under Jock Steen? Yeah. How do you think it's early in his career? But how do you think this current manager is doing compared to... I think it's simple uh, in a way. When when Jock was manager, he just surrounded... He would buy good players. Yes. Now you've got freedom of contract. Yes. Uh, a lot more money. But I think Ange Postecoglou knows a player. He does that. And, and he's doing the right thing. Yeah. And I think if you rotate the squad and keep players happy... That's, that's another thing I was going to ask you because when you were introduced to Celtic you were eased into the team Yeah. a lot of people in this day and age and especially with social media they have a dig at the likes of oh do you know that it's like oh he's no good enough and you can't, you can't make that opinion of somebody right? yes. players said that about Greg Taylor he's first year he's no good enough but look at him now he's a fantastic player he's been you, were, excellent. you were eased into the team how did that help you as, a, as a, look at young Ben Summers on the bench today yeah. young Vata how did they help how did that help you progress as a player? Not just for your time at Celtic, but then obviously when you went to Hibs and your, your total football career. Well, when I was at Celtic, I, was, I wasn't a defender. I was a goal scoring inside forward. Right. Allegedly. <laughs> That's a big allegedly. <laughs> uh, but I had knee injury, yeah. it, which was the common at the time. And I was... I failed the medical for him, actually. Did you? Yeah, I failed the medical, and I didn't know I was swapping for the King of Easter Road. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yes. My great friend now, Pat yeah. yeah. But, uh, it was all done in the quiet with Jock Steen and Eddie Turnbull, and yeah. I'm, I'm glad in a way because it furthered my career. I got 10 years. Yeah, you got 10 after more. Celtic. Uh, at Celtic, I was just getting injections into my knee, but. If I needed a big, big operation. Right. If you have any advice to give to a young player today, there is a lot of older audience watches this this channel. But if you've got one bit of advice that you could give to any young player coming through football today, what would it, what would it be? It would be if you believe in yourself, keep that belief. Because I was too small for Partick Thistle. Yeah. And Jock Steen signed me. Yeah. Uh, my son was too small. Yeah. For anybody. And he was at Dunfermline. <laughs> yeah. Ten years at Celtic and yep. Wolves and everything. So just have belief in yourself. Yeah. That's the main thing. That's it. Thank you very much. Not at all.